we go. Hello, it's at Real M World 40 here. Uh, Chris, about to drink some beer for your pleasure, and mostly for my pleasure actually. Um, you'll see that I'm, I'm not wearing, well, uh, I'm wearing something slightly different to normal. There's a reason for this. Um, so, just quickly, going to play a little bit of word association with the wife. Wife? Yeah. That's Mrs. Real Ellen 140. You can catch her on Twitter if you want. Uh, if I say stout, what do you say? Black. Black. Now, black is not the word for today, because today we have the Durham Brewery White Stout. It's their pale stout, and comes in at a whacking great 7.2%. Um, <clears throat> heard some good things about this, quite excited. Uh, the word stout for me conjures up images of Guinness and... Um, you know, all the you know, Maccasins and all that business and stuff that my mum used to put in Christmas puddings when I was a kid and I, I disliked intensely. Put me off beer for a long time, that did. Um, but I'm reassured by Elliot, the Durham Brewery, that um, I, sh I should really get my gums around this. And thus far, I've had no bad experiences from the, the Durham Brewery. So <coughs> I'm going to go into this with an eyes. Now, I am wearing a flat cap and a, a muffling type scarf. Um, in order to kind of respect the traditions of the north, um, Durham being, being north of um, Bristol. Um, so everyone up from there presumably dresses like this all the time. I haven't got a whip it, sorry about that. Um, my dog's a, a collie cross um, and he's a bit useless to be honest. He just, well, he's, he's just stopped licking himself now, so that, that's a good thing for everyone. Um, right, so Durham Brewery, 7.2%. Um, natural not filtered, sort of 10 degrees, I've tried to get it to as close to 10 as I can from from touch mostly. Um, store it upright because it says to on the bottle. There is live sediment so it does say do be wary, um, it may be lively. So let's find out if it is. I bet it's nothing in terms of liveliness on in terms of the versa. So let's give this a whirl. Ooh. A little bit of liveliness, the smoke came out quite quickly. but. Apart from a little bit of fizz at the top of the bottle, nothing. Uh, nothing we need to be concerned about. Let's pour this now. Schoolboy error there. I've actually not used the special Durham Brewery oh. bottle opener. Shiny, shiny. Um, makes my old smelly one not look very good and this one goes on my fridge as well so it wouldn't get around behind the cups and end up in the spoon drawer thank you for that Ellie right so you may have noticed that that is not black for that reason let me get in the nose first Ooh, ooh. There's, there's a whole heap of fruits in there. Um, my wife wants to just come and try this. I'm going to let her try this a second while I take my flat cap off because I don't think I'm going to need it. There we go. That is... <laughs> well, I'll almost a preemptive uh, review in notes there from, from the wife. Um... <laughs> This isn't your running the mill stout. Stout is just a word that means strong. Uh, stout men, stout knaves, uh, stoats, uh, they're not strong. Well, they could be, especially if you were fighting them against a worm or something like that, then they would appear strong. Um, but stout, oh, sorry, I'm rather entranced by what this beer is doing. It's not a big head on it, but it's, a, it's an abiding head. There's lacing on the glass already, just from swilling it around a bit. And the fruit in there is heavenly. Um, I'm picking up some a conference pear maybe, um, and some some more tropical things as well. Now you know you know when you get a conference pear and it's just it's in that five second period when when a conference pear is ripe, and you know you tell you well, if you like me you you bite the top off like it's a hand grenade and spit the pin out or the top of the pear as it would be, um, and you get that amazing aroma when it's just at the right moment of ripeness. Either that or it's like a rock um, or possibly 
more like a big squidgy thing um, and not like a hand grenade at all and therefore no fun. But enough of the smell. Something there is something more tropical, and almost pineapple. Maybe not, maybe not quite. Um, it's fantastic. It just keeps giving. Um, I'm gonna. I, I can't wait. I'm just gonna have to start and drink some of this and see what goes on there. That is immense. That's bloody fantastic. Ooh. Mm. That's quite. It's quite highly carved. Um. I don't know if you can pick that up on on the video there. The bubbles are well, they're not overly lively, but they're strong. The 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 bubbles that are gonna let themselves know be known in your mouth. <coughs> Excuse me, and they're gonna let yourself be known when when they want to come back out of your mouth like that. Um, but they're serving a great purpose when they are in your mouth. They're they're flushing around all those flavors. They're pushing them right out to the front. We're gonna pick up those sweet bits. And then as you're taking the beer back then, you get the, the lovely, lovely bitterness out of this. Just, uh. So sophisticated, the flavour is it's cracking. Hmm. They've really pulled something out of the bag on this. This is bloody amazing. Um, I like my hoppy beers. I like um, some of the different takes you get on a hoppy beer. So when you get the golden ales that are big, you know, mega hopped, and and I like the black IPA style as well. And and this for me kind of fits into that. Yeah, you know, that that kind of juxtaposition of white and stout. Those two words doesn't need to be a juxtaposition. This is proven that you can carry a, a really big fruit flavour, which you don't get with some of the, the, the beers that are really highly hot. Um, I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking Torpedo from Sierra Nevada, places like that, things like that. They don't carry as much zing of fruit about them. They But this this has a really quality balance of it's a light sweet malt in there. Bloody hell! Oh. Right, Steve Gibbs, you're the head brewer. I love you. That is one of the best pints of beer I've ever got my gums around. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, check them out. www.durhambrewery.co.uk um, Check them out on Twitter. They're all over that as well. There's a big white stag tasting event this Wednesday. This may be today by the time you get to watch this review. I'm going to take a day or two to post it because they're trying to do a bit of a Twitter event. If you can get this trend in, get this out everywhere. Um, they may be asked to, to start exceeding their maximum capacity of what they can brew. Because this, and I, I'm going to write a begging letter to Waitrose to ask, <laughs> ask them to, to get this on their shelves. Cause, and Temptation. Yeah, oh, oh yeah, and, and the Temptation, which is their actual stouty stout, black stout. Um, the one danger with this, I think, is that you, you would never ever guess that this was 7.2%. Um, it's 7.2 isn't it? Yeah, 7.2%. Um, danger. And yet, it's a bit like, you know, you know, in the, in, in the films, you know, you know, you know, the good looking woman is always going to be a bit dangerous, especially in like a Bond film, you know. Um, I'm thinking Pussy Galore, you know, that kind of character. Great looking, 
mischievous, uh, going to cause you problems if you have too much of it. Just, just try and catch the nose again. Just give it a wish round. Oh, that's amazing. The only thing I can compare it to is, and I don't know if you've used them, the, the source shower gels. You know, uh, you know, and they have a minty one, and, and they have a chocolate one, and they have a, a, a but they have a, a fruity one of those, and the, uh, the pineapple one I used in the summer because that was their seasonal one, um, and it just blows your mind with with that big fruit hit, um, just from the nose. It's it's incredible. Wow. Well. I always think about what the place is that I'm going to want this, and the place is everywhere, um, and any more places you can think of that fall outside of that category, and in terms of rating, I'm going to go for the full whack, it's a 10, and I'll give it higher, but there's no higher mark than 10, as we all know. Um, right, well, thanks for joining me, thanks for watching, cheers.